All right, okay, well, anyway, um, welcome first of all. How have you found it all so far at Knox? Yeah, no, it's been good. It's been a um, it's been a weird start, obviously. Haven't played a game yet, but I've um, been training hard. The boys are very good here. And um, they've welcomed me with open arms, to be fair, so I'm enjoying it so far. I think the manager said on the first day you made your presence known and knocking into defenders, you didn't you didn't waste any time to settle in on the training ground. No, of course, there's no time to waste, you know what I mean? Um, I know where we are in the league. After coming, hit the ground running, you know what I mean? I know what my job is to come in and do and to help out the team, so there's no time for trying to settle in and, you know what I mean, you just got to do your stuff and make sure you're aware of what's going on. And he asks a lot of you, does he, the manager? He says he, he, he puts a lot of he puts a lot on his strike because it's not just about scoring goals, he wants a lot of work from you. Yeah, of course, we're working on training thing all the time, like, it's not just about scoring goals, it's about your positioning, where he wants you to run to help out others, position, positioning yourself in good positions to get the ball, so there's a lot of work around it, just from, just instead of scoring goals, and that's obviously important in the team because... Um, when you're helping out in other areas, running and making yourself available, it opens opportunities for others to get on the ball and maybe score. So it works. Um, what do you see your strengths as in Um Well, I can score goals. Obviously, I'm fast. I can run in behind. See, I like to. I can hold up the ball as well. But um, I'm not just like your typical number nine, which is just gonna stay stick and you know what I mean and not move anywhere. I like I'm quite mobile, so I like to get at players as well. And just there, yeah, just be free. And that's what he's come in and made me do, to be fair. Yeah, there's a fair bit of competition up front, isn't there? The manager's got different options. Kyle Woodson obviously has scored um, a lot of goals and Jimmy Knowles has been in the side and scoring goals as well. How excited are you by the, the competition that's around and the other players that can play in that position? Yeah, competition's always good. It always keeps you on your toes and makes sure that you're aware that if you don't step up, someone else is literally going to come in and you know what I mean, take your place and there's good players here. So you just, you know that you have to make sure you try and keep your place, do everything you can to keep your place. And competition is always healthy because if you don't have competition, you end up being let luster and just knowing that you're going to play all the time and then you won't get the best out of yourself, really. So when you have competition, you know that you always have to keep on your toes and make sure that if I'm not scoring, if I'm not even providing for the team, then you know you're going to sit down. You've already experienced what we've experienced lots already this season. I'm sure you have before joining Knotts, which is games being called off. How difficult is it? How frustrating is it as a footballer when all you want to do is play football that games are just being called off week after week after week at the moment? Yeah, no, it's very frustrating, obviously, especially for me. I haven't played for about almost three weeks now, you know what I mean? And being cup tied, I was very frustrated with that. Obviously, the game getting called off the other day is frustrating, so it is hard. You just have to keep yourself mentally strong and keep going because you know that it's, it will eventually get better. We're just going through a phase at the moment and hopefully things turn around soon. There's been a lot of talk this week as well about funding for other clubs and loans and all of that. I don't know how across all of that you've been, but all of that, is that unsettling as a player or are you able to kind of put that to one side? How, how does it work for you? Um, it's not that unsettling. You can only control what's in front of you, you know what I mean? And Everything that's going on outside, that's out of my hands, I can only focus on what's going on on the pitch and how I can improve myself as a player. So once I get that, if you know if what else is going on around me, I can't I can't do much about that. But just know that when things do get better, you're already prepared, you know what I mean, mentally mentally ready and to hit the ground running. And this weekend is the, the ultimate test as far as the National League this season is concerned. Torquay, just, just how tough a game is, is that going to be? Yeah, to be fair, Torquay's going to be a very tough game. But in this league, they're, they're, they're all tough games, you know what I mean? This league is it's not an easy league. It's a very hard slog. There's games week in, week out. There's people trying to get out the league through moves. So people's constantly trying to put on performances. So if you don't turn up on a day, no matter if you're top or you're bottom, and the other team turns up, you're going to, you're going to get beat, no matter if you're better than them, you know what I mean? So you just got to always be on your A game. Torquay's going to be on the A game on Saturday. I'm sure we are as well. Obviously, we've studied them and know what they're about. So... We're going to bring it to them 100%. And it's going to be relentless, isn't it, over the next couple of months? It's going to be midweek games, Saturday games, every single week, I think, now for a, for a couple of months. You ready for that? Yeah, listen, I haven't played for a week, so I'm ready. I'm, the Saturday, Tuesday, it doesn't really phase me. I'm, I just want to play as much as possible as a footballer. That's all you want to do, play as much football as possible, you know what I mean? And um, we have the opportunity to do that for the next few weeks and make sure, stake our claim in the, in the playoffs, hopefully. Good man, look forward to seeing you in action. Thanks, Sidney. No worries. Excuse me leaving the meeting, it's nothing personal. I've just got to give the uh, computer over for another presser. So, no worries, appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Good to see you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thanks, Dave. Over to you, Lee. Hi, Eddie Lee Coach from the Nottingham Post. How are you doing? You OK? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? 
Yeah, decent, mate. Um, uh, just on, <coughs> on your arrival at Notts County, I'm pretty sure you would have had other offers um, to leave Stevenage, but what convinced you that Notts County was the right move for you? Um, literally, obviously, um, I know Neil oddly has been interested in me for a while, and unfortunately, obviously, I didn't sign for him um, previously, but... It's just obviously his ambitions on how he plays. Obviously, when we've played against Notts County, I've always said oh, it'll be a dream. it'll be like a nice it'll be like a dream playing for that team because they create lots of chances. They they move the ball well, you know what I mean. And I've always admired the way they've played and admired the way um, how New Ardley, um shapes up his team. So it was a no-brainer when they came in for me. I was I was just like, listen, get the get the deal done. I wanted I wanted to be there. Obviously, the size of the club is massive. It's a big club in the city as well. So. It, it was just a no-brainer coming there, you know what I mean? I know how well looked after players are here as well, so it's I, I, I couldn't I couldn't ask for more really. So it was just about getting a deal done, to be honest. It's interesting you say about the the way that that Neil plays, and, and obviously you played for Dover last season. It, it, when you saw Notts County players, is, is there a view of Notts uh, uh, as to how they play the game? Because a lot of people recognise him as one of the best passing teams in the division. Do you, do you sense that among the rest of the league as well? Yeah, 100%. Obviously, I felt it being at Dover when we played them. Um, they, passed, they passed us off the pitch, you know what I mean? We couldn't get near them, but obviously <laughs> that Dover team, we had a bit of resilience, so we, we made it we made it half of them. And obviously, they still Notts County still nicked a result um, at our place when we drew 2-2 two, two with them. But when they were passing the ball and everything, it was just it, it just makes you tired as a player when you're just running up and down. You can't really do much about it. So when you're playing in a team like that, everyone knows in the league that Notts County are a good passing team. So it gives you a little bit of insight of how other people think of teams when you're on the other end. Obviously, I've been in it, so yeah, it is. I feel that other teams feel that as well. Yes. Um, how how has it gone for you at Stevenage? Uh, uh, were, you, were you surprised to be allowed to go out on loan? What what's happening there? Um, yeah, to be honest, obviously I came in as their main number nine, and um, obviously I was playing at the start. And to, to be honest, I don't really know where it wrong. Obviously, I just I just I, the gaffer said to me I just didn't suit the way he played. He wanted to play, um, and that's all it was. He just said, "Listen, obviously I'm coming here. I don't want to change your game." I think he tried to change my game a bit, and he didn't. And he said, I'm, "I've tried to change your game. I didn't want to do that." And that that was that. And literally, I just had to move on. I couldn't dwell on it. I didn't want to sit down and just say, "You know what?" Like I tried to fight back for my place, and he, he just said, "Listen, it's it's not going to happen here." So I just said, "Okay, cool. I'll go and learn." It's not one for me just to sit around and just waste away. I mean, I've got to take opportunities as they come. So that's why I just wanted to get out and learn. That's why I went to Barnet quickly. Um, because it was local, <clears throat> just to get some minutes in, hoping that when I come back, I'll be back in, and it was still the same. So I just said, okay, cool. I'll just do go and season on a loan somewhere for the season. Sorry. So with that in mind, is, is there a long term future there for you at Stevenage? Um, obviously we have to wait and see. I can't, I can't comment on that at the moment. I don't know what their thoughts are or how they're how they're seeing things. You know what I mean in the future. But <clears throat> right now, I'm just focusing on where I'm at at the moment, which is not counting, trying to do the best for for knots. <clears throat> And what are your ambitions for while you're here? I mean, because the league seems to be up in the air on a weekly basis, doesn't it? But, um, you know, you're still the, the playoffs. I mean, if the season does go ahead, you've still got a lot of games to play to catch up on the leaders there. Is the aim EFL promotion? Yeah, of course. It's always the aim with, obviously, this size club this and this sort of club. Um, and that's why me coming here was one of the big reasons, obviously, me coming here tried to fight for promotion for the team. There's plenty of games left. I think we've played 14 games. The league's basically just started. You know what I mean? So there's plenty of time to catch up any leaders. As you know in this league, if you go on one good run, it could take you it could take you really high up the table. And we've got that in us, we've got players here, the ability to do that, um, week in, week out. So obviously we just find the right formula and it'll work. Brilliant, mate. That, that's lovely. And in terms of the goals, have you set yourself a goals target? I know all strikers have one in mind. Yeah, of course, always set myself a goal target, but it's it's a personal one, so I always keep that quiet. <laughs> Yeah, as all, stri- as all strikers do. I was, ex- I was expecting that, mate, to be fair. Yeah, she's not asked the question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> fair play. Okay, no cheers, Lee. No oh, worries. You, Jake. Appreciate it. Hi, and Jake from Knots TV. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good stuff. Yeah, very well. Thank you. It's great to meet you. Um, just a, a few follow-up questions from one of the guys already asked. Really, um, we've we've spoken about how spoken about your move, of course, to Notts County. When did you first learn that uh, that Neil Ali was interested in bringing you to uh, to Medellin on a loan deal? 
Um, I think it was just shortly after um, I've come back from buying it and my agent just obviously said, listen, he needs about to go, like, he needs available for a loan on season and obviously they came in quite quickly um, with a few others and even though it was quite a bit, it's um, quite a bit away from home, not that far, but I just still, I still saw the jump, I said, listen, I'm, I'll go nuts, I know um, he's liked me for a while and when you have a manager that likes you, you want to go somewhere because you know that they'll try and get the best out of you as well, you know what I mean? So, um, when I felt, it was quite quickly when I heard about Knots and we tried to get over the line as soon as, as, soon as possible, to be honest. Great stuff. And, and I'm guessing them, um, the manager in Alave very quickly and clearly outlined kind of like your role in the team and what would be expected of you. Yeah, 100%. He's ready. I already know my role in the team, what we're meant to do, how I'm meant to play with certain people, how we're meant to, how, where I'm meant to run, what I'm meant to do. So he really, he really stamped his authority and he knows what he wants from me. And he, um, what's good, he hasn't told me to change anything about my game. He's just tried to enhance it, you know what I mean, to suit the team. And that's what it's about, working together, you know what I mean, to get the best result. I was going to say, how much do you relish that approach that you've kind of got someone now that isn't trying to change you, but is working out how you and your strengths can fit into his team? Yeah, it's always, it's always, it's always good because as a player, if, you, if you've played this way for over 10 years and then someone's saying, yeah, let's change it, like, it's, it's not really going to work. You either take the player how they are and try and enhance what they're doing or you you just leave it and he's coming and said, listen, I don't want to change what you're doing. I've played against him a few times so he knows what I'm about. I've seen it, he's seen it, so he knows what I'm about. So he knows that it could fit into this team. But he wants to adapt certain things so I can play the way how his team plays. So I have to adapt to his the way the team plays. But it hasn't changed my game in adapting to the way he wants to play, which is good. Is that more in terms of like uh, some more like work off the ball in terms of defending from the front side? Yeah, work off the ball, defending from the front, where he wants you positionally when you're defending and how we're closing down players as a group and stuff like that. So yeah, great stuff. How have you found that change in approach so far? No, it's not been hard. It's been it's been pretty easy. It's not it's not it's not a hard change. It's just a defensive duties. And to be honest, like I always do my defensive duty. I always work hard for the team and I will sprint back if I need to. If, even if it leaves me out of position to help the team and stop a counter attack or whatever, like I'll do that for the team. So when it's defensive duties, I don't shy away from it. I'm not at all. Stuff and, and we spoke a, um, a moment or two ago about the, the competition in in the squad. Have, have have the level of strikers that you're training with in in training at the moment helping you to kind of like raise your game and get that real sharpness back for you as well. Yeah, of course. Like even when we do shooting practice, we always have. I'm always saying let's do a competition. We always try to raise the game with each other. So when you have that competition, it shows. You know what I mean? It raises intensity. We don't want to just do it and just be like, oh, listen, let's just shoot. Like we want to make it competitive between us because it it brings us the best. It brings out the better players in us. You know what I mean? When you're just doing it competitive and you see the other people winning, it makes you want to do more. So competitiveness is always good. Stuff. And how does training at Notts County compared to recent clubs that you've trained at in terms of the intensity and what you work on? Yeah, no, the um, intensity has been very, been hard. Like I said, it's been different to obviously where I've been at Stevenage and <clears throat> others, but it's it's good. It's something that I enjoy doing. I love like intensity, high intensity training. It makes you makes you want to be better, and then you eventually feel it in yourself. You know what I mean? The high intensity training, and then when you see it happen on the training field and see it happen on the on the pitch on a Saturday. It looks good, do you know what I mean? So it's all good. <clears throat> and, and just finally for me, of course, has been a little bit of a wait potentially for a, for your debut in a Notts County shirt, but it could could well come against uh, Torquay at the weekend. What would it mean to you to uh, play play a role in such a, in such a big game against the league leaders? Um, it's massive, obviously. Like I just want to play. I haven't played for a while, so it's just it's just putting on the shirt and getting out there. You know what I mean? Giving it all full of ways and working hard and giving my grit and giving my hard work and hopefully score a few goals if I if I get picked. Well, great stuff. That's all for me. Wish you well for the weekend. Down for your time at Notts. Thank you very much. Pat. No worries. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. Over to you, Alex. Hi, mate. I'm Alex from Platform. Nice to meet you. No worries, mate. How you doing? Yeah, good, mate. You? I'm good. I'm good. Just I'm looking at the upcoming fixture list. It's quite condensed with a lot of Saturday, Tuesdays. It sort of feels like if you get on a bit of a bit of a run of form, you could be really um, banging in some goals. Yeah, hundred percent. If you get <laughs> that's that's the good thing about being a striker, and obviously. Um, with the condensed fixtures, if you score one, you you want the ne- you don't want to wait a week for another game. You want the next game to be on a Tuesday, so you can just keep that run going. So hopefully, I can obviously get a few, and maybe assist a few and help other people get goals. You know, I mean, it's not just about me scoring. I want to help Kyle score. I want to help Jimmy No score. You know, what I mean, Elias. I want to help everyone, and just not myself. So 
<coughs> but um, obviously I know we need goals in the team and that's what I'm, I'm here to do and I, I can provide that hopefully How much are you looking forward to playing at Meadow Lane in the home strip? Oh, I can't I can't wait you know what I mean I played I played here I think I played only once before and obviously that was when there was fancy and it was it was amazing obviously you, you raise your game even though it's away and there's you raise your game because there's like 5,000 fans you always you always know what what Notts County is going to bring you and I can't just wait to get out there and put on a shirt and obviously put a, hopefully put a performance on Is it easy to stay focused on training and stuff with the, all the game with everything that's going on around the National League at the moment? Yeah, of course it's of course it is because everyone's everyone's zoned in on just the goal of just training hard. Like I said before, we can't control what's happening outside of what's hap- of, of outside of these walls. So we can just control what's happening with within our training. Make sure we train hard and be ready for when we are called upon. And how frustrating is it when games keep getting called off and you have to keep sort of moving your schedules about? Well, it's very frustrating because then you work extra hard in the week and then game gets called off and you potentially have to wait another week or 10 days you know what I mean so it is frustrating but like I said we just have to keep our heads strong keep our mental strong and make sure that we can just be ready for when we are called upon because in this time it is mentally hard as well as physically you know what I mean to get through it so everyone just keep everyone around the change room in a good vibe make sure everyone's together and we'll be alright perfect mate thank you very much no worries good luck